Hi, I'm Dempsey Pilot, and this week I'm reviewing The Maze Runner, The Death Cure, was directed by Wes Ball and is the third film in the franchise based on the books of the same name written by James Dashner. The film's cast is led by Dylan O'Brien and Kaya Scodelario, I hope I'm getting that one right, and it consists of other stars such as Giancarlo Esposito, Barry Pepper, and Patricia Clarkson, just to name a few. Now, this film was awesome. I've been a fan of the franchise ever since the first Maze Runner film, and I really enjoyed the second one, even though it did have a few flaws in my opinion, but um, this one was a great way to end the franchise. I think it went out with a bang. Now, the film follows Thomas, played by Dylan O'Brien, as he attempts to get his friends back after the events at the ending of the second film. The whole film consists of great action sequences. There's this particular one that involves a bus, but I won't say any more on that. Um, but this whole franchise, from the very beginning, has been kind of like an underdog franchise. Where, like, you, you went into it not knowing what to expect. Um, I went into the first Maze Runner not knowing what to expect, and I absolutely loved it. And I went into the second one also not knowing what to expect, and I absolutely loved it. Um, and I love this one for the same reason that I love the first one and the second one, is that it surprises you. And it's not just because I'm not too familiar with the story of the books. Now this franchise is what I consider to be an underdog franchise. You go into it not knowing what to expect. Nobody knew what to expect when the first Maze Runner came out, and a lot of people were blown away. Uh, the same thing happened when the second one came out. A lot of people were blown away, and I think a lot of people are going to be blown away by this one as well. And not to say that, I, I mean, I, I don't know who, who was a fan of the books, who, who read the books and whatnot, but what I really like about this franchise, what I really like about these films, is that um, in addition to not knowing which direction these characters are going to go, what's going to happen next, each film has up the ante a bit. Now the very first film um, comes off like a mystery because you have these, these boys that are stuck in this maze and they don't know why they're there and they're trying to figure out why they're there. The Scorch Trials had to shift gears from that because obviously you take away the mystery. They finally realized why they're there and now they have to figure out whether or not they can survive in these new conditions that they find themselves in. The third film ups the stakes again because now that they're accustomed to living in this world they have to find peace. And that's what a lot of this film is about. It's about finding peace. And now our main character, played by Dylan O'Brien, Thomas, the whole film follows him as he's trying to make peace with uh, this grand betrayal that he faces at the end of the second film. And um, he, some of his friends are taken away from him at the end of the second film. And now he's trying to come to terms with this whole idea of whether or not he can really save anybody. And for a lot of the film, that's posed as a question. Can he save everybody? And literally, there's actually a point where somebody's like, you can't save everybody. Um, it's actually pretty funny. But yeah, um, and that's what I really like about these films is that, you know, each one um, kind of keeps you on its toes as to what to expect. And this one is no different. Like I said, from the opening action sequence all the way to the very end, this film grabs you and it really does take you on this adventure and makes you kind of feel like you're along for the ride with these characters and those are the best kind of movies in my opinion. Now in addition to everything else this film ha does have a lot of fun surprises. Um, I, I assume that people who have read the book probably knew that they were coming or maybe they didn't. I don't know I really haven't read the books honestly but for me as a moviegoer watching this film I was pleasantly surprised with a lot of the things that the, they had in this movie. Um, no spoilers definitely not going to spoil anything for you. Now while this film was great and I thoroughly enjoyed it from beginning to end, it did have a few flaws. Firstly, this film at times feels crammed. Um, and I know that the director said from the very beginning that he was not going to make, you know, a Maze Runner uh, Part 3, Part 1, you know, like they did with Twilight or The Hunger Games or Legion or the list goes on. Now uh, he wanted to make this a trilogy. And I'm glad he did that because I didn't have to sit at some awkward cliffhanger uh, reading the words to be continued and have to wait a year to go see how this ends. He wraps this film up very nicely, but like I said, at times it does feel like they're just giving you lots of information. Um, but it works, 
it does feel long at times, but it works. I feel like the end justifies the means in this case. In addition, there were one or two things that I saw as cliches, but I guess in young adult stories, you, after a while, you kind of know what to expect that I personally would have changed. I, I, I honestly would have uh, approached them differently, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, not going to be too nitpicky. But yeah, Maze Runner, I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, great action. Great acting led by the brilliant Dylan O'Brien who gives himself to every role that he gets, essentially. I think he's going to be a great star to look out for in the future. Um, great supporting cast, great story, and it's a nice wrap-up for the franchise. So I'm going to give it four stars. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching again. I do appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting on these videos. I look forward to making more. I've got one more coming out um, in the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, if you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Dempsey Pilat. Take care.